Coming up, the G.I. Joe 2015 convention set, Iron Grenadiers Metalhead, plus the Rag and Spoon upgrade kit. Stick around. What's up guys, it's Phil and Aiden from Crossfire Collectibles. Uh, today's video, we have the G.I. Joe 2015 convention exclusive Iron Grenadiers Metalhead and the Rag and Spoon Tinhead Upgrade Kit. Uh, I'll leave a link in the, to uh, the website so you can order this if you like. It's an awesome kit. It gives more of a retro and classic feel for the Metalhead figure. But um, before we get to that, we'll go ahead and go over Metalhead. So he is unbagged already, but that's how I've had him set up on my shelf. Uh, I've been meaning to, you know, mess with this kit and get it on him because, you know, his legs are a little wobbly. So once I get the screws out, I can tighten them up and it'll be more, more to, I don't know, more to liking, I guess. But here is Metalhead. So as you can see, he's got these, I guess they're like the POC Duke style, you know, rocket launchers for a backpack. It's a little overboard, but I don't know. I guess it's this is the figure that you know it's based on. So I have all these parts that I can go ahead and make another one with if I want to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade my original. So uh, first we'll go over him as he is, and uh, you can see he's got a pistol here. I'm actually gonna un uh, unequip him with everything and submachine gun. That's a really cool gun. I like that. He does have a secondary pistol on his ankle. Uh, he has a knife and a sheath on his little harness strap here. Where is he going to keep that in there? And then we'll go ahead and pop the backpack off, which is this uh, backpack style rocket launcher with four rockets on each one. They do come off, but I'm not gonna mess with it. You got a couple uh, wires here that connect, and that's that. I just think it's a little too bulky. It makes them a little top heavy, and it's, I don't know, it's not original. I want something more original. But uh, we'll go ahead and go over Metalhead. Um, first, I'll show you guys his file card. So again, we use Yojo, so I can get you guys a nice, you know, centered, steady piece so you can read. So go ahead and check that out. You know, pause the screen, take a picture, screenshot, whatever you need to do if you need that. Or just go to yojo.com. So, alright. Uh, Metalhead is got a Kroger stand with two pegs. Metalhead. And then the figure. So, he's pretty cool. I like the head sculpt. It was a, a unique head sculpt for, you know, the 2015 Tiger Force vs. Iron Grenadiers uh, set. Let me see, he has this torso with a Destro symbol on it for the Iron Grenadiers. Uh, this torso, I believe, is Mouse from Retaliation. Um, he has his arms, you know, he's got a red dot over here. I'm not sure if something was supposed to go on that. Well, both arms, actually. And these arms were to Snake Eyes. As you can see, it's got the, uh, the hinge in the wrist. Why they did that, I have no idea. Any other arms could have done well. The uh, harness with these two, you know, I don't know what you want to call them, garters or straps, whatever. This is also from Snake Eyes, but it is in a gray color. So, moving down to the legs. These legs are from the Jungle Viper. Um, the difference between uh, this and the Jungle Viper is this would be green. So, yeah. There's your metal head with his loose legs. So we'll go ahead and put him aside and I'll go over the rag and spoon kit with you. But first, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right, so moving on. Here is the rag and spoon pinhead upgrade kit. You can order it here on ragandspoon.com. Rag and spoon, rag and spoon, whatever. It's one of them. Say it how you like it. That bag out the way. I'll go over each piece here. We got a couple. Something came off. Try 
straighten this out some. You have a couple uh, screws. Now these are for the inner thighs of the figures. Um, this kit does not come with these. I actually have two extra screws I put in here. So we're gonna use totally new screws for those. Here you have his thighs. For the, I believe this is his, this should be his left thigh, I believe. It's all, it's all set and ready to come apart. You know, just kind of uh, peel apart into two pieces like that. Reveal the inside so you can see. I did also put the little uh, little rubber piece in here, you know, for the ball joint. And um, it did have a little extra, you know, plastic coming off of it from the moldings, which I went ahead and carved away to make it nice and clean. So as you can see, they have these little pegs right here, and they are going to be for the thigh uh, rockets. So the same with the other one, you know, same thing. Got that piece right here. And it'll come apart as well. And I have that little piece I stuck in there. So here are his his thigh rocket launchers. Very much like the original, like the classic version. I'll show you guys a picture of the classic right here, so you guys get an idea. It's uh everything is pretty much on. I don't know. It's not spot on, but it's close enough. Like the backpack. The uh, thighs will have two in each. And there's no helmet, which I'm totally cool with because I didn't want the helmet anyway. But if you want, you could probably get a vintage helmet and customize another metal head, head, metal head head if you need to. Because I don't think it will fit on that uh, with the bunch of hair that he has up here. You know, just seems like it would be a little too much. But uh, he has six rockets, which um, the colors are pretty spot on. Nice detail to them. They look great. So there'll be six of these. You have this back piece that will plug into his hole in the back. Give you a shot at that. And then the uh, shoulder rockets, shoulder rocket launchers with uh, this little satellite right here. So basically when this is on his back, you know, you simply just slide that on. You can have it up, you know, to where it's like actually arranging to, you know, blast off or whatever. Where you can stick it down to where it's like set on its back, you know, not armed. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our little screwdriver here, and we will go ahead and take the legs off of Metalhead. So, basically, you're only going to need, you know, the lower leg. So, just keep that aside because you'll need it for thigh piece. What I'll do is take my other thigh, just put it back together. Um, I'll put the screw back in it so I can store it with the screw to know which is which. I'm not going to screw it in too tight. And that's that. So we'll get that out of the way. And now we'll go to leg two. Save your lower leg. Put these back together. Screw back in. Tighten back up, but not super tight. Just enough to hold it. All right, and now we'll move on to the new thighs. So just to be sure I have the right ones. If you should go on the back. So we'll do his left leg first. So we'll unpull this apart. Get that up through that little joint right there. And then take the leg, the lower leg, and just slide it onto the peg right there. And then Bring it over, connect the two pieces, line them up, press, and there you go. Make sure that bends properly. All right, looks like we're good. We'll take one of these new screws, plug it 
in and then we'll tighten this up. So we're gonna use a little pressure to tighten these so that way there's no uh, opening in the seam in between the thigh. So a little bit of pressure, but not too tight. I don't wanna strip that. And that's on and a little bulky, still kind of loose. I might just have to drop a dab of a uh, super glue on there, but yeah. So there's one leg. And now we'll move on to the next one. And just open that up. Just piece over. And beat that around the joint. Get that little piece in there. through the lower leg hole. Line them up. A little pressure. New screw. Try to hold that in and tighten them up. All right, so now he's got his new thighs on. Let's go ahead and mess with the thigh brackets. So you have a little hole here. You'll have, probably have to uh, clean it out a little bit, you know, puncture something through it. This seemed to work absolutely fine. You know, it goes right in, make sure it's you know, nice and open. So that way when you put it on here, it should go on with no problem. And there you go. You got one leg rocket launcher. Grab the other one, do the same with the other side. Just kind of feed that on there, like so. And he's almost ready to rock and roll. So uh, we'll take one rocket. There's, if I don't know if you can see in there, but there are two pegs that come out and the back of the rocket does have a small hole in it, which they will plug into to kind of hold them in place. So that way, you know, they have a little nice I guess grip on the inside they won't just slide out if you you know put them upside down and shake them so they're in there and they'll come out pretty easy do the same with the other side if I can find it let's go to the top one top one zoom and there's the bottom one so we'll go ahead and give him a stand. And there he is so far. So we have two rockets left. We'll go ahead and spin him around and get the back done. Now this gray doesn't match the gray of the metal head, you know, perfectly. It's a bit darker, but it's all good. And I'll try to pull this some and take back launcher kind of slide it over the rail now it's hard to see kind of get it on there like that and you can just put it down this one rocket don't like me keeps sticking in my hand aim it up a little bit all right so we'll feed Top rockets in. Like that and that. There you go. He's got his more classic look. Um, rocket get up. Uh, it looks great. I like it better than the other one. So we'll go ahead and fully gear him up. Give him his other pistol right here. Give him the submachine gun right here. And throw his other pistol in his left hand. And there he is. There's your upgraded 2015 convention exclusive metal head with the Ragnus Movement upgrade kit. So here you guys go. We got uh we got him up on the turntable with the original accessories and him geared up with his new accessories. Or his upgrade kit, I should say. So uh 
overall it's, it's a great upgrade um if you're more into the classic look you know then i'd suggest getting it if you're more into the modern keep what you got you know no big deal or if you just want to have both and uh you know mess around with either of them it's up to you but um this is a great kit i would highly recommend it check out rag and spoon and look at all the other stuff on the site that they have so many different upgrades for so many figures it's well worth to take a look at it if you're into customizing you know just or you're into a different feel you want something better than you know what hasbro made then go ahead and check it out and uh, place an order uh, i'm pretty sure you'd be happy with the quality so yeah overall um i like the upgrade on it it's much better than you know what it came with so i'm happy but uh, if you guys don't have Metalhead and you try to get him separate, he is a little pricey. Um, he usually runs upwards of 250 but, you know, if you have the whole set, you know, it's cheaper to buy the whole set at once than, you know, buy the figures one by one. But, yeah. Well, so that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Um, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please leave a giant thumbs up. Subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.